Zabali kato brade kasin tali mama kashen telia gendelele kazuka brade kasan talia. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. I thought somebody would say a better amen. amen. Lover, the Bible says, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Today is the last day, the last Sunday of the year, and we're entering into the last week of the year. From now to Thursday are the remaining few days in this year. And I know the God that said better is the end can, is never a liar. And he had never lied before. And so I know there is somebody here that the best part of this year is for you. Only one person said amen. amen. And in that name that's above every other name, God will prove it in your life. Amen. So I want you to lift up your two hands and I want you to place a demand on God. This same God said, Command me concerning the works of my hand. Say, Father. Father. Oh my God. I thought you would do better than that. Say, Father. Father. Prove in my life this week. That better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Prove your word in my life. Prove your word in my family that I will start to testify that better is the end of 2020 than the beginning thereof for me. Can you go ahead and touch with Almighty God? I had a lot to prove his word. He said, better is the end of a thing 
than the beginning thereof cry to the almighty God cry to the all powerful God and say Lord prove it in my life today as this year goes and end this week Lord prove it in my life Masika brande kapo gazanda Jebo rebo te gazianta da brande kasanta li mama Jele boske panda li glade kasanta liya in Jesus mighty name we have prayed I decree over the life of someone and wherever my father find the loudest amen God will prove in your life that better is the end of it than the beginning thereof. The kind of miracle you've not accessed since the beginning of the year. The kind of blessing you have never received since the beginning of the year. Between now and 31st of this month, let God prove himself in your life in the name of Jesus. It is often said that it is not over until it is over. I decree between now and 31st of the year, my God will surprise you in the name of Jesus. I said, let God surprise you in the name of Jesus. One more time, let the Almighty God surprise you in the name of Jesus. You will not live here today without a testimony. I repeat, by this time next Sunday, in that name that is above every other name, you will stand at this altar to testify. Anything you don't want to cross over with you into your 2021 shall be terminated today in the name of Jesus. Battles you fought in 2020. In 2021, you will not have to fight them anymore in the name of Jesus. Every area of your life that you still need victory, this morning the Lord will give you victory in that about Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father, for we pray in Jesus' name. I thought somebody would say a louder amen, a thunderous amen. Jam your hands together for the King of Kings and the Lord of Law and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I say, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. You can please be seated very quickly as we quickly look at the topic because of our time. Last minute miracle. But know that by the special grace of God, we'll be having crossover service on Thursday. You are not excited about it? We'll be starting evening on Thursday 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Holy Communion and of course 9 to 12 will be our wash uh, uh, our crossover service and early immediately we cross over we take authority over year 2021 and we renew our covenant prayers praise the Lord and on that note by the special grace of God if you are a member of this parish you are encouraged if you have not eaten today start your own fasting today but if you are eating today, we're going to be fasting as a church Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And what are we doing? We are commanding 2021. We are handing over 2021 into the hands of the Lord. Like I did mention to those that were in the workers' meeting, that I have learned over time not to take God for granted. Whatever you need in life, you pray to that extent. There is, there is nothing like an accident when it comes to certain things happening to us. And either you believe it or not, from the parameters and the signals we are already seeing, year 2021 is going to be another very tough year. But for us as children of God, who will have paid the necessary price we need to pay? We are scaling through 2021 in joy, in prosperity, in comfort, in blessing. You are able to say a better. So for all this to happen, we need to take authority. And that's why by the social grace of God, all throughout this week, Monday through to Thursday, we'll be meeting both morning and evening. Our dignity is going to be prayer session. And of course, our faith clinic is going to be 
our Holy Communion where we'll be rounding up a four day fasting. And your 2021 shall be far better than 2020. Amen. If you are that say a louder amen. amen. I say, if you are that fellow, say a louder amen. amen. So, tomorrow morning, good morning, Holy Spirit, we shall be talking about the flood of joy. Put your hand together for Jesus. It's going to be an anointed service, and we are encouraged to come with our bottles of oil that will be blessed, and from there we anoint ourselves. Brethren, you will not know whether God is answering your prayers until you stop praying. When you stop praying and you now see what you face, then you will know that the prayer you have been praying, God has been answering. And that's why the Bible says, pray without ceasing. So please, 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 don't take it for granted. And I know your testimony will be heard. And next Sunday is our annual Thanksgiving. Ah, you are not excited about that. That next Sunday, there will be a lot of eating and drinking, and by the special grace of God, you are permitted to dress in your traditional attire. If you are an Igbo man, Igbo woman, you dress in your normal Igbo attire. And if you are from Niger Delta, you dress in Niger Delta way with plenty of handkerchief. Let somebody shout hallelujah. And if you are a Yoruba man, make sure your agbada is ready. Just go to the bottom part and carry the best. Smelling with comfort. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Luke chapter 5, verse 1 to 8. If you get to look, what do you do? You look very well. Praise the Lord. The last minute miracle. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Genesaret and saw two sheep standing by the lake but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. Are you already washing your nets? And he entered into one of the sheep, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would choose out a little from the land and he sat down and taught the people out of the sheep. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your net for a draught. And Simon answering and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. And they beckoned unto their partners which were in the other ship that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both the ships so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knee, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. Praise the Lord. This is a very familiar story. Familiar in several ways. Number one, you must have had several messages from here. And even right here in the church, we must have also preached a lot of sermon. But this story is a typical example of a hopeless state. It's a typical example of somebody closing up on a failure note. It's a typical example of someone who had labored all through the month, all through the year, and has nothing to show forth. As I speak, there might be one or two people seated here this morning who may likely look back from January till now and begin to condemn himself or herself. Why? 
But how there's no any tangible result that you can point to this year that this is my achievement. That was the case of Peter. The Bible says all the night he had toiled and when he did not cash anything, he left the boat and was already washing his net. He has resigned to faith that no more hope. He has resigned to faith that nothing serious can happen anymore. He has resigned to faith that it's all over. Are you here this morning saying it is all over? I am here to let you know that I serve a God that specializes in delivering last minute miracle to his people. As a matter of fact, there are several stories in the Bible that pointed at the fact that God can deliver last minute miracle. What is last minute miracle? A last minute miracle is a miracle like the we put it in football game. The miracle of the injury time. You know when two sides are playing football and one is down maybe with a goal or two and uh, they couldn't equalize. And you see the minutes, reading 85 minutes. And you know they are going to how many minutes? 90. Between that 85 and 90 minutes is an injury time. Such that if there have been so many fouls, they may add extra time. That period is critical. That period for someone that is already down can still come up. Praise the Lord. At that period, for somebody that is a go down or two go down, and there is an equalizer, it's going to be half on the other side to recover it. Praise the Lord. That is what our God can do. The fishermen were already washing their nets. They have ended empty. They have given no hope. They were no longer expecting to go home with a cash. Can I pray for only poor person? You are still crossing over in abundance. The fact all is over. They have concluded this is the end. Praise the Lord. But my God, the God of pleasant surprises showed up at the critical time. Can I pray for you, sir? Between now and 31st of December, the almighty God will show up for you. And wherever my father find the loudest amen, between now and evening, for someone's faith that will carry it, God will show up for you. I want you to know that it's not over yet. What did I say? It's not over yet. When Jesus appeared and said, Truce, your boat a bit from the land. He made use of it. He spoke into the life and the situation of Peter. This morning, sir, this morning, man, God is going to be speaking into our life. God is going to be speaking into our situation. All that is expected of you is to believe. 
is to believe. If you are sitting here today and you can believe, I can tell you, sir, I can tell you, ma'am, you are already a candidate for last minute miracle. Because Peter says something. He said, Master, I have toyed all night. But nevertheless, at thy word, sir, man, it is the word of God that made the difference. Whether miracle will happen to you or not, it is the word. How you receive the word, how you act upon the word, in John chapter 2, die minute, the wine got exhausted. Mary met with Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, what have I to do with you? My time has not come. We are asked. The one that says, My time has not come, is the controller of time and season. And because Mary know her, Mary know him too much, Mary turned to the servant and said, "Whatsoever he asks you to do, do what? Do it." And the bridegroom, at that minute, God last minute miracle. Beloved, you are next in line. If you also read Luke chapter twenty-three. Verse 39 to 43. The robber at the right side of Jesus on the cross got the last minute miracle. He lived all his life as a robber. And judgment already passed on him. Two of them. Praise the Lord. He was already condemned to death. And he was already on the way to hell. And suddenly, they brought Jesus in their midst. They did what? Huh? He said only one word in verse 42 of that Luke chapter 23. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me. When thou comest into thy kingdom. And verse 23 says, And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today thou shalt do all. Eh? Today shalt thou be with me. Where? This was the fellow that was supposed to go to hell. Die minute. He saw was saved. Brethren, the God that we serve is the God of last minute miracle. I'll give you one more instance and I'll tell you one or two things and we'll pray. And I know your own is on the way. In Luke chapter 7 verse 11 to 15 any time I read this story in the Bible, I glorify the name of the Lord. Brethren, I want you to know God know your situation. God know your pain. God know all that you've been through from January till now. The widow have lost the husband. And right there, the only son was taken by death. At that point, no more remedy. No more what? No remedy. And so they were already on their way to the cemetery to go and bury the young man. And at the gate, they jam the one that is resurrection and life. And he took a look at her and said to her, weep not. There is somebody here, sir. Either the devil like it or not, Whatever might be happening to you right now, you are ending this year rejoicing. The woman got last minute miracle. 
Why? He had an encounter with Jesus. Beloved, when you look at all the stories and the instances we cited, we are, there were recipients of last minute miracle. You will discover that there is something in common to all this last minute miracle. Number one, for there to be last minute miracle, there must be divine intervention. There must be what? Divine intervention. In the case of the widow of Nain, there was divine intervention. The bridegroom, there was divine intervention. Peter, there was divine intervention. And we can go on and on. In the case of Hezekiah, in Isaiah chapter 38, there was divine intervention. So all you need for a miracle to take place is just for God to intervene. How many of us believe that God can intervene in your case? Stand on your feet. I told you earlier, I say it depends on how you receive this word. If you receive it like, oh, we've had daddy preach messages on miracle before. We have attended miracle service before. We are even go to Holy Ghost service. You may leave here not receiving anything. But if you can summon courage and exercise your faith, I don't know what you are passing through, but it's not late for God to intervene. Lift up your two hands. And cry loud and clear and say, Oh God, my Father. You can do better. Say, oh God, my father. You are the miracle walking God. You are the God of last minute miracle. Arise and intervene in my case. Intervene in my situation. And turn my story around. My story of hopelessness. My story of emptiness, my story of lack, my story of sickness, my story of diseases, my story of frustration, my story of failure. Can you cry to the Almighty God? Ask the Lord to intervene in your case. Can you cry loud and clear? Can you ask God to intervene? Brethren, it is not late yet. It is not late yet. It is not late. It is not late. It is not late for God to intervene. Man rabota branda gazanta li baba. Korabaton glabos katali braga santa liya. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Yesterday when we had the goa fishing in Badagri, Daddy shared a testimony he said he had just last week of a man couldn't pay his rent six months rent the landlord threw out his load inside snow inside what? snow nowhere to lay the head and he attended the congress and God spoke that there is somebody who is passing through but you end this year with landlord. Sorry, you end this year a landlord. And as we speak, as at yesterday when daddy was sharing testimony, the young man is already a landlord. <laughs> Divine intervention. Stretch forth your hands to the altar. For somebody that will believe here today. I don't know the extent of hopelessness in your life. But in that name that is above every other name, there will be divine intervention. I said there will be divine intervention. Concerning your marital life, there will be divine intervention. Concerning your businesses, there will be divine intervention. Concerning your marriage, there will be divine intervention. I decree every area of your life that you are hopeless. The Lord will visit you in the name of Jesus. Sir, ma, there is what I call the God factor in everything. Sir, everybody can tell you it is over. 
But those telling you it is over, they don't know what God can still do. Lift up your two hands and say, Oh my God, you can do better. Say, Oh my God, surprise my mockers before the end of this year. All, all, all my mockers, all my mockers, all my mockers, surprise them before end of this year. Oh, my riba Cassandra Limama. Kali Brande Cassandra Limama. Zabaleke Te Gazuka Brande Cassandra Limama. Kakaba La Bosa Pale Bra Cassandra Limama. Zelele Gazunta Brande Cassandra Limama. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want to say certain things. But I don't want any of us to be excluded. I will close the service. When I gave you the testimony in Luke chapter 23, verse 39 to 43, the robber, the robber acknowledged his sin and said to Jesus, Remember me in thy kingdom. He knew he was a sinner. And Jesus said to him, Today, you will be with me in paradise. This was an already condemned criminal. Why am I telling you this? When God speaks his word, his word works faster in the life of the righteous than in the life of a sinner. That's why the man that was suffering passy that was led down through the room by four of his friends, the first thing Jesus said to him before speaking his healing to his life is, your sins are forgiven thee. Beloved, you can't be in the state of unrighteousness and the spoken word of God will find a performance in your situation. Can you please bow down your head? I say I don't want anybody to be excluded. If you are here this morning, you want to behave like that robber that said, Lord, remember me in thy kingdom. He knew he was a sinner, unlike the other one that was mocking Jesus. Because they were two. One was mocking Jesus and said, look at you. Now we are at the same level. But the other one that acknowledged his sin got a last minute miracle. Are you here this morning? You want to acknowledge your sin? You want to also say to Jesus, save my soul today. So that whatsoever that is spoken into your situation now, there can be a performance. You are the only one to lift up your right hand and I pray with you. God bless you, my sister. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All I know is that God is not a liar. If you have raised your hand, can you kindly just come? Either the ushers are giving you a card or not. Just come to the altar. Because you'll be the first to be settled by God today. If you have raised your hand, please come. Please come. Just ushers, just direct them. Encourage yourself, just come to the altar. You are the first to be settled. You are the first to be settled. You are the first to be settled. Because I know the word that will go forth here today. There will be a performance in your own situation. All you need to do is, Lord, have mercy on me. Forgive me, pardon my iniquities and transgression. That is your own prayer. And then God will do the rest. Go ahead and ask him for mercy. Add a lot to pardon you. Add a lot to forgive you. If you are standing there and you know you are not yet a child of God, just like that arm robber, come and join them now. So that 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 the Lord will be speaking into your life, there can be a performance. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we are praying. My Father, my God, I want to thank you for the life of this, your children standing at your altar. Lord, they have acknowledged you as their personal Lord and Savior and they've asked for mercy. Lord, pardon their sins, pardon their iniquities, 
give them a new beginning that the word that will be spoken right now will find expression in their life in the name of Jesus and there shall be a performance with resultant effect of a miracle in the mighty name of Jesus thank you mighty father for we pray in Jesus name you can open your eyes immediately after now you follow that our sister but you are going to remain where you are but you can look back and see that our sister there you're going to follow her there are one or two things they will tell you but I don't want you to miss this aspect why I ask you to come out first everybody can you please stretch forth your hands to the altar everybody and all God wants to hear from you is a resounding amen at creation all that God did was to speak the word anytime God wants to perform miracle in the life of he sent his servant to speak the word I am speaking the word of God into your life this morning and instantly instantly there will be a miracle in your life uh, if you believe that I believe your amen will be louder than your neighbor anyone here this morning not seeing any ailment, any sickness, any pain. In that name that is above every other name. Between now and 34th, it shall be over. Any hopeless case here today, I speak the word of God into your case and I say let that hopelessness become hope in that about Jesus. I speak fullness fullness of God's blessing into every empty life in the name of Jesus I speak prosperity into the life of as many here that are in lack and poverty receive prosperity in the name of Jesus as many here that be helpless between now and the end of the year let help come for you in the name of Jesus. As many that have not enjoyed favor, I speak favor of God over your life in the name of Jesus. I say I speak favor of God over your life in the name of Jesus. I speak favor of God over your life in the name of Jesus. I decree all your fruitless labor. Brother Sefer Dosens, Marcasonta Brandy, Every of your fruitless labor from January till now, let your reward come now in the name of Jesus. Let there be harvest for you in the name of Jesus. And every sorrow in your life, I speak the word of God. Let it become joy in the name of Jesus. I say, let it become joy in the name of Jesus. I say, let it become joy in the name of Jesus. And every bondage, every captivity over your life, before you cross over to 21, I decree that yoke is destroyed now. Your captivity is over now. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Three powerful women want to go. Come on, Put those hands together for Jesus. Please, sir, please, my follow that, my sister. 